I never saw Marshall Goldberg play, but I knew about his accomplishments. He truly was Pitt's first football star. And Marshall, who became a very good friend of mine, related the story to me that when Dr. Sutherland came down to meet with his father, he recalled how his father and Dr. Sutherland went into a room, closed the door, left Marshall outside, and then after a certain period of time, Dr. Sutherland and Marshall's dad came out of the room, and as Marshall related it and remembered, his dad said, you're going to pit. <laughs> yeah, the, the nomenclature changes, but certainly the position doesn't change, and he was a great one. His junior year, he not only led the team in rushing, he led the team in interceptions, and he led the team in passing. His rushing record stood from his last year in 1938 all the way into the 70s when Tony Dorsett arrived on the scene. I knew him better as a Pitt supporter and a guy who came back and helped transition Pitt from Pitt Stadium to Heinz Field. Walked out to the center of the field and symbolically captured the spirit of Pitt Stadium. He was very proud and honored that he was given that particular role and he was appreciative of the fact uh, he was well remembered. <laughs>